welcome all of you in renuka institute of neet myself dr sushil naik today we'll solve the neet 2017 question paper of english version question number 1 which one of the following statements is correct with reference to enzymes from the options option a holo enzyme equal to apo enzyme plus coenzyme is true as we know holo enzyme is catalytically active enzyme consisting of an apo enzyme combined with its coenzyme apo enzyme is an active proteinaceous part of the enzyme and coenzyme is the organic compounds their association with the apo enzyme is only transient it means it is impermanent it makes the apo enzyme active and effective so our answer is holo enzyme equal to apo enzyme plus coenzyme question number 2 a decrease in blood pressure or the volume will not cause the release of options are option 1 atrial natriuretic factor anf second aldosterone third adh that is anti diuretic hormone and fourth is renin if you look at the first option anf that is atrial natriuretic factor is the right answer as when blood pressure increases anf releases from the atria of heart and inhibit the ras that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system a decrease in the blood pressure or the volume will cause the release of aldosterone adh and renin these hormones collectively induce ras to increase the blood pressure and so anf decreases blood pressure when it increases and aldosterone adh and renin increases blood pressure when it is decreases so we can say a decrease in the blood pressure or the volume will not cause the release of anf question 3 which cells of krebs of leverkusen secrete antibacterial lysozyme options are first one penicillin cell second zymogen cells three kuffer cells four argentafin cells answer is first one penicillin cell krebs of leverkusen are tubular glands in the small intestine zymogen cells or the peptic cells are present in the stomach not in the intestine kuffer cells are present in the liver they are phagocytic concerned with the production but again they are not present in the intestine argentafin cells are of krebs of leverkusen it secrete hormones but not antibacterial lysozyme and so our answer penicillin cell is the right answer these are the cells of krebs of leverkusen and secrete antibacterial lysozyme question number 4 which of the following are not polymeric options are first one proteins second polysaccharides third lipids and four nucleic acids from the given options our answer is number 3 and that is lipids as we know lipids are formed of 1 to 3 molecules of fatty acids and alcohols fatty acids may be short chain or the long chain but act as a unit if we talk about the protein proteins are polymers of amino acids having n minus 1 peptide bonds in it again polysaccharides are also polymers of monosaccharides having n minus 1 glycosidic bonds and nucleic acids are also polymers of nucleotides having n minus 1 phosphodiester bonds so the non polymeric or the structure which is not polymeric is the lipid only from the given options question number 5 functional megaspore in an angiosperm develops into option 1 endosperm second embryo sac third embryo fourth ovule from the given option answer is second embryo sac as in the flowering plants one of the megaspore is functional which develop into embryo sac 
This statement is given in Stud 12, Chapter 2 on the page number 26 of NCRT textbook. Question number 6. Myelin sheet is produced by and options are option 1. Astrocytes and Schwann cells. Second, oligodendrocytes and osteoclast. Three, osteoclast and astrocytes. Four, Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes. From the given options, answer is four. That is Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes. As astrocytes play a role in maintenance of the blood-brain barrier, they are also responsible for the repair of the damaged areas of the nervous tissue and they are not the part of the myelin sheath. Osteoclasts are the bone destroying cells. Again, they are not the part of the myelin sheath. And so, myelin sheath is formed of Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes and that's why it is the answer. Question number 7. Attractants and rewards are required for options. one. Entomophily, 2. Hydrophily, 3. Clastogamy, 4. Anemophily. From the options, answer is 1. Entomophily. Entomophily is insect pollination. It requires rewards of pollen and nectar. They may also have an attractive scent and color. And that's why it is the answer. In the case of hydrophily, it is water pollination. So, Biotic agent is not required. The same in anemophily, it is a wind pollination in which no vector or pollinating agent is required. In the case of clastogamy, it's a kind of autogamy in which pollinators are not required. So, whenever the pollinators are required, attractants and rewards are necessary. And that's why entomophily must be the answer from the given option. Question number 8. Receptor sites for neurotransmitters are present on your options are first pre synaptic membrane, two tips of exons, three post synaptic membrane, four membrane of synaptic vesicles. Here the answer is third post synaptic membrane, as in the standard 11 NCERT textbook, chapter 21. On the page number 320, it is clearly mentioned that receptor sites for neurotransmitters are present on postsynaptic membrane. Question 9. Coconut fruit is a option 1. Berry, 2. Nut, 3. Capsule, and 4. Droop. Again, in the NCRT Standard 11 textbook, chapter 5, page number 76, it is clearly mentioned that coconut fruit is an example of droop. Question number 10. Adult human RBCs are enucleated. Which of the following statements is or are most appropriate explanation for this feature? And your options are. If you look at the second point, they are somatic cells. It is not the appropriate explanation as somatic cells are nucleated. And this is not the reason for enucleated condition in the RBC. Point 3. They do not metabolize. It is again not proper. As RBCs are mainly concerned with the transport of O2 and CO2 and that physiological process, metabolic activities are carried out. So, this is not the answer. If we look at the first point, RBC do not need to reproduce is true as RBC dies in 120 days and new RBC forms in red bone marrow by hematopoietic stem cells. But the fourth statement, all their internal space is available for oxygen transport is most appropriate because at maturity, the RBC discard all their cell organelles along with the nucleus to provide space to hemoglobin. And this is the main reason why Adult human RBCs are enucleated and that's why we select option 4 and that is only 4th statement is appropriate.